Welcome to Module 5 Basic Statistical Tools. So, under Business Research, Basic Stat Tools is a must and should be considered in order to understand on how to properly achieve the end result. It serves as the first basic things to consider when computing the stat methods needed for the study. So, here uh, we will consider only the computation of the frequency and percentage and the mean, median, and mode. Uh, so, we are now on the computation of the mean, median, and mode. Means means average. So, it is computed by means of adding all the total and divide it to the number of n. So, example is 1, 2, 3. So, it's 6. 6 divided by 3. So, the average is 2. Median. From the word itself, it means at the middle. So, for example, if the number given is from 1 to 7, then the median is 4. But if the number is from 1 to 6, so it's even number, then... 3 and 4 will be added, then divided by 2, so the median is 3.5. So, mode means the number with the same amount or value. So, it can be divided, it can be doubled or binary, it can be trice or tri tertiary or etc. So, for the number 1 example, so we need to compute the mean, median, and mode. Uh, the given is 10, 10, 20, 13, 14, 15, 16, 22, 16, and 18. So, on the mean, you just add it all and then divide it from each number. So, they are all 10. So, 154 divided by 10. So, it's 15.4. For the median, you, you need to arrange it. So, arrange it from the lowest up to the highest number. So, we have 10, 10, um, 10, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 18, 20, and 22. So... They are all 10, so you, you need to get the number 5 and 6. And then number 5 and 6 is 15 and 16. So 15 plus 16 divided by 2 is equals to 15.5. So here, the median is 15.5. So what about the mode? So if the number is doubled or tripled or thrice, then that particular number is the mode. So we have here... 10, 10, and 16, 16. So, the mode is 10, 10, and 16. 10 and 16. So, example number 2 is compute the mean, median, and mode. The given is 300 pesos, 500, 1,000 pesos, 800 pesos, 750, 500, and 820. So, how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, they are 7 numbers. So, you just total it all. So, to total this one, it's 4,570 divided by 7. So, we have 567.14 for the mean. Okay? And then, uh, for the median, we arrange it from the lowest to the highest peso. So, we have 300, 500, 500. 750, 800, 820, and 1,000. So, the middle, from the 7, the middle is number 4. So, the middle here is 750 pesos. So, what about the mode? So, they ha we have 500. So, there are two 500. So, the mode is 500 pesos. So, did you understand now? So, let's just compute another example. So, the last example is... Uh, 455, 289, 740, 330, 900, 460, 740, and 810. So, we have how many numbers? We have 8. So, this, uh, you should add it all to compute the mean and then divide it, number, uh, divide it to 8. So, 4,724 divided by 8. So, we have 580.50 pesos. Uh, 580.50, sorry. So, the median is, uh, we arrange it from the lowest to the highest. So, we have 289, 330, 455, 460, 740, 740, 810, and 900. So, we have number 4 and 5. So, 4 and 5 is 460 and 740 divided by 2. So, we have... 500. So, 500 is our median. Okay, what about the mode? 
So, it can be doubled or tripled the numbers. So, that doubled or tripled here is 740. So, the mode is 740. This is the end of module 5, basic statistical tools. Actually, this is only basic. So, we will further discuss the different statistical method that you can use on your business research.